Imagine having a car battery that outlives you by decades. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what a top-notch battery expert Jeff Don revealed at a global battery conference in Orlando, Florida in March. He claimed that his new battery formula could make an electric car run for a whopping 4 million miles or 100 years, whichever comes first. That's more than 13 times the average lifespan of an American and almost 24 times the average mileage of a U.S. US car. Talk about a long-lasting relationship. This breakthrough means that cheap and durable EV batteries are not a distant dream anymore. Tesla, the leading EV maker and Don's partner, has already incorporated some of his innovations into its upcoming Cybertruck model, which is expected to hit the roads in 2023, eventually. This could give Tesla a huge edge over its competitors and revolutionize the EV industry. So what's the secret behind this amazing battery, and how does it challenge the existing norm and standards of the EV battery market. Let's take a closer look at the Cybertruck and see what makes it tick in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, where we talk about everything Tesla. Before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get into it. We've got a number of innovations that we think will be quite effective in the uh, refining of that uh, haven't been done before. Maybe that's a good point to... Exactly. A revolutionary new battery technology named NMC532 is the most suitable fast charging battery. The ratio of N nickel, M manganese, and C cobalt in the cathode is 5 to 3 to 2, hence the name. This composition enhances the thermal stability and safety of the cathode. It also enables ultra fast charging up to 5C. But how was Tesla's new new battery developed to last 4 million miles. One of the biggest concerns about EVs is that the batteries will need replacing after a few years at great expense. But a Tesla researcher, Professor Jeff Don at Dalhousie University, is getting ready to throw out this idea and demonstrate that NMC532 batteries have the ability to last longer with proven 4 million miles, which means almost 6 million kilometers. It is truly becoming an heirloom for us to pass on to our children's children's children. Tesla enthusiasts are likely to have heard of Jeff Don already. He's a professor at Dalhousie University and has been a research partner with Tesla since 2016. His focus has been to increase the energy density and lifetime of batteries as well as reduce their cost. Dr. Don has met huge success along with his colleagues on his research team with the NMC532 battery design that could last 100 years under the right conditions. For example, in the US market, the average vehicle age is 30 years, doing 14 15,000 miles per year, which means the lifetime distance driven by an American car is 420,000 miles. After a bit of calculating, the lifespan of the NMC532 is nine and a half times longer than the lifetime of an American car. How much will the price go for the NMC532 battery? Um, a majority of our battery packs are iron-based, not cobalt. Um, and, the, the, and, and then our other battery packs are nickel-based, and not cobalt. The nickel batteries use a little bit of cobalt as a binder, um, but only a tiny amount. In contrast, your phones all use 100% cobalt. But even for the small amount of cobalt that we do use, we will make sure, six ways this Sunday, that, we're, that no child labor is being exploited. Obviously, we're a company that cares a lot about doing the right thing. Um, and we don't want to delude ourselves or delude anyone else. The single crystal cathodes that Tesla wants to use degrade a lot slower. Additionally, the cathode is currently being manufactured with nickel, aluminum, and cobalt. However, the research strongly suggests that the cathode of the NMC532 battery can be made using only nickel and aluminum. This effectively means going cobalt-free. Therefore, the price of the NMC532 battery will be much cheaper than previous batteries such as LFP or or traditional lithium batteries. This is due to the fact that it has been proven in practice that the price of the final battery product is determined by 80% of the price of the raw materials it uses. In 2023, the price of one metric ton of nickel stood at some $21,970, which is 2.49 times cheaper than the average price of cobalt at $54,840 a ton. So it is estimated that the price of the NMC532 
battery can be only about a third cheaper than traditional lithium-ion batteries that use up to 20% of the cobalt in each battery unit. We know Tesla is keen on going cobalt-free to avoid using up the limited reserves our planet has and to refrain from getting involved in illegal child labor that some cobalt mines have been accused of taking part in. The NMC532 battery has become Tesla's proprietary technology. Tesla recently renewed its contract with Don's team, securing an even more long-term partnership. In addition to that, Dr. Don added Dr. Chongyun Yang and Dr. Michael Metzger to his team to further enhance the team's capabilities. They have researched and optimized a lot of performance possibilities for Tesla's electric vehicle batteries. And more importantly, on behalf of Elon Musk and Tesla, Don has filed for a patent on the new battery. They have confirmed that their NMC532 battery is particularly useful for self-driving robotaxis and long-distance electric trucks, two products that Tesla is focused on developing. Tesla is a leader in electric vehicles and sets the direction for others in the industry. Its amazing sales performance is partly due to its industry-leading power battery and other key car parts. Tesla's research and development team has made a significant improvement in their power battery technology. In addition, the new battery developed by Tesla in collaboration with Don's team, which has the characteristics of long-term energy storage, will perhaps also be used in Tesla's energy storage products. It's the latest evidence that Tesla is at the forefront of the application of this battery technology. But let's talk about why this battery has such a long lifespan. The lifespan of current Tesla batteries can be affected by certain elements, including temperature, discharge activity, faster charger use, and driving habits. It's believed that Tesla batteries typically last approximately 1,500 charge cycles. However, Tesla's researchers have developed the battery to last for a very long time. It can be charged and discharged almost 2,000 times without losing its capacity. The battery could then effectively work for up to 100 years without decaying. Dr. Don is considered one of the pioneers of batteries whose research direction is to improve the energy density and life of batteries as well as to reduce their cost. And the real proven reason to extend the life of the NMC532 battery is the switch from polycrystalline to single crystal cathodes, which don't break down so rapidly during the charge-discharge cycle. And the key to making the NMC532 battery last longer is changing the type of cathodes. Cathodes are the parts that store and release electricity. The old cathodes were made of many small crystals that would crack over time. The new cathodes are made of one big crystal that is more durable. Dr. Don has been testing cells based on his adjusted chemistry. Apparently, this type of battery has been going strong and after four and a half years of continuous cycling at room temperature, they have only seen 5% degradation. This would mean that they could power an EV for 4 million miles before needing to be replaced. 6 million kilometers. Furthermore, NMC532 can store about 275 watt hours per kilogram, which means it can power a device that uses 275 watts for one hour with one kilogram of the battery. LFP, or lithium iron phosphate, can only store about 90 watt hours per kilogram, which is one third that amount. It can then be concluded that the NMC532 batteries have better energy density than LFP batteries. This makes NMC batteries better for applications that need small batteries with moderate power capacity. But another important factor is its chemical composition. Here's a simpler way to explain the difference between the NMC532 battery by Tesla and the NMC811 battery that is being researched and developed by LG Chem, Samsung SDI, SK Innovation, and CATL. The numbers after NMC show how much of each metal is in the battery. For example, NMC532 means 50% nickel, 30% manganese, and 20% cobalt. Meanwhile, NMC811 means 80% nickel, 10% manganese, and 10% cobalt. The more nickel there is, the more energy the battery can store. But the more cobalt there is, the more stable and safe the battery is. So there is a trade-off between energy and safety. But then, how long does it take for the NMC532 battery to charge? Well, it's called a fast charger for a reason. It can apply 5 charging technology. This fast charging technology allows to increase battery charging efficiency while shortening charging time. With this advantage, it is estimated that it can fully charge up to 90% in 12 minutes. The material of the cell is important for fast charging. The positive electrode, the negative electrode, the diaphragm, and the electrolyte of the cell all need a certain fit to have a higher electrical conductivity. That's why the new formula allows NMC532 to be the most suitable fast charging battery with its higher thermal stability 
the higher degree of safety and its ability to charge ultra fast. Combined with proven stacking technology and manufacturing processes, these new battery packs are made to be safer and more stable than ever. Besides its application for electric vehicle battery production, this is a more efficient source of energy for consumer electronics, UAV, or drones. The NMC 532 fast charge battery increases charging speed by 60%, which is very beneficial for applications such as agricultural spraying drones, which means plant protection drones, and mapping UAV as EV tolls. So how will Tesla go about developing this battery? So the, the, the demand is like quasi infinite here. We're, we're expanding Gigafactory Nevada um, for the uh, in-house uh, cell production. So we're, we're aiming for 40 gigawatt hours a year, both in California and in China, but I think um, long, long term, that this will be uh, much, much greater than this. I mean, I would say it's, I wouldn't be surprised if long term uh, the stationary battery pack uh, activity went uh, well in excess of uh, 500 gigawatt hours per year. Currently, Tesla uses about 90% of its battery cells for its lineup of EVs and the other 10% for energy storage products such as power walls and megapacks. It has worked to secure the maximum battery supply capacity via a number of different deals and partnerships. Moreover, the automaker is producing its own batteries in multiple locations and is already considering getting into the lithium refining business to ensure the huge demand that even remains stronger in the future. To achieve that aim, Tesla will build a new battery factory in Shanghai, increasing investments in the battery sector. This is on top of its renovations of its two gigafactories, one in Nevada and one in Fremont, California. This was signed by Tesla and Shanghai on April 10th of 2023. It could open rumors that the new factory that is about to be built in Shanghai is being used by Musk for the research and production of the new battery formula, NMC532. Additionally, many arguments also assert that with the chemistry of the NMC532 battery, the Chinese market is an ideal location for this production process. It's really hard to know what Musk will do with his massive plans, but one thing is for sure, he never disappoints with any project. Are you curious about the latest battery project of the Tesla company? What about this new battery do you like best? Let us know in the comments. So that's it for our scoop on Tesla's latest battery project, but how about we move on over to what you really want to hear about? Tesla has broken the silence about Cybertruck production at Giga Texas. The Tesla Cybertruck is a highly anticipated electric pickup truck that is expected to launch in 2023. It has attracted about 1.8 million reservations from people who want to know when and how many deliveries will take place. The Cybertruck has a futuristic design and claims to offer impressive performance, range, and features. Some of them include a bullet-resistant body, a tonneau cover that can support a person's weight, and a towing capacity of up to 14 thousand pounds. Cybertruck has been seen testing in California and Tesla has also shared some images of the production progress at its Gigafactory in Texas. Additionally, Tesla plans to bring the Cybertruck to New Zealand for final cold weather testing before it goes on sale. There's a video of Tesla's Cybertruck production taking place on lines at Gigafactory Texas that has been leaked, confirming the automaker is continuing to make strides in its initial builds of the all-electric pickup as deliveries near. Tesla has been building the Cybertruck at Gigafactory Texas since the first quarter, as alpha prototypes were shown being manufactured in photos released by the automaker during the first earnings call of 2023. However, things in Texas are evidently moving forward and production of the all-electric Cybertruck is now being shown in a leaked video of the manufacturing lines within the factory. This video shows a portion of a Cybertruck frame going through the body in white, or BIW, line. BIW is a stage in automotive manufacturing where a frame has been joined together and occurs before any paint is applied. People have seen the Cybertruck being tested in California and, recently, Texas, where Tesla has a new factory. The factory has two huge machines that can make the truck's body parts from metal. These machines are called Gigapresses, and they are the largest of their kind in the world. Tesla plans to start delivering the Cybertruck to customers in the third quarter of this year, according to its CEO, Elon Musk. Furthermore, Cybertruck rear castings were spotted there along with other hens that production is nearing. The massive rear pieces were laying on the ground 
inside the factory, and there are no less than 45 casted components laying on the ground outside the Austin manufacturing facility which indicated that Tesla might soon start low volume production of the much anticipated Cybertruck. If these are, in fact, rear castings for the upcoming all-electric pickup, it means the Cybertruck's rear is made up of no less than five big components, including one big casting for the bottom of the bed and four more pieces for the sides, as revealed in an earlier leaked photo showing an unfinished truck on the assembly line. These latest castings look different from the one spotted last month. Back then, there were just a handful of casted components captured on video, but this time around, it looks like Tesla has stepped up its GigaPress game, with almost 50 components waiting to be put together to make a car or a truck in this case. Musk has said in the past that the upcoming truck was a tough product to design and that it'll be able to cross rivers, lakes, and even the sea. Therefore, we still don't know for sure what Tesla's all-electric pickup will bring to the table, but from various leaks and spy shots, we can expect the Cybertruck to come with an adaptive air suspension system, rear wheel steering, the firm's latest hardware for a computer, a revised yoke-style steering wheel, and a single windshield wiper. Tesla has also reportedly started reaching out to suppliers and has hinted toward an annual production rate of nearly 400,000 vehicles annually. It told its suppliers to be ready for Cybertruck release candidates in late August and production in early October. That's all for today's video on the latest news about Tesla's latest battery project, the Cybertruck, and Tesla's Giga Texas factory. How do you feel about the new features and specifications of the Cybertruck? Are you excited to see it rolling off the production line soon? Feel free to leave a comment down below. In the meantime, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash smash that like button and join our Tesla car world family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.